Uh, what's good, YouTube? Gabe here. Um, we had Grand Festival this weekend, and low-key wasn't that grand, but whatever. I, um, I entered with an Asha deck profile, which is obvious for me. So there was the main Dude, tournament. You're snot on your bicep. Hell yeah. Hmm. So, we had the main tournament, but we also had another clan leader fight thing. So remember this thing that I got? Well, I got another one. I've been the clan leader of Neon Actor twice now, so if it wasn't proof enough before that I'm good at this game, there you go. But they didn't outdo themselves this time, because for the first event, we got this beautiful ass certificate with a clan symbol and our name typed up. This time we literally just got a picture of Asha on a trading card. And like, this was at the Grand Fest. I feel like they could have done even better than this. But whatever. Where the hell was the free food, Bushy? There wasn't even food. They said in the very first announcement that there was going to be Vanguard and Buddy Fight themed food, and there wasn't. It was low-key kind of lame. It was just another regional event. But whatever. Point is, I'm I've been clan leader twice now, so that's important. So, as with all of my other Asha decks, I run two copies of the starter, running Elmi because it's a free search. It was a counterblastless search, and it bounces to proc Bloom multiple times. She's a great as hell card, and I love her. And she came in really clutch, because she can also search Stride Fodder, because you can search for the Grade 3 ride target. Um, running four copies of Renunculus of Searing Heart Asha. Uh, her GB2 actually came in handy, so Bloom, Vanguard only, Counter Charge, Soul Charge. And at the end, and her at the end of turn ability also really came in handy because at the end of either player's turn you can call something and use it as a um, uh, search target for stride skill, and the boost from her stride skill didn't really do anything, but you know it was a search that I could use, so she was pretty nice. Um, she's it's an Asha deck for the most part, so it still came in clutch. Um, Next, I ran three copies of Summer's Height Flower Maid Maryuka because the uh, Maryuka Rowney loop or combo actually came in really handy. So Vanguard only, this ability actually did apply one time when I missed road. So whenever a card is targeted by an opponent's effect, soul blast one draw card and it actually kind of helped. And while she's on Van or Rear, whenever you call another copy of her, you can pick another card and give it 3k. And if the card you pick is um, Rowney the Grade 2, it gets on hit draw and soul charge. And that ability stacks, so if you call multiple Rowneys, you can give on hit draw soul charge two or three times. And I actually did that, which was fun. I played a guy, give Rowney on hit draw soul charge twice, it hits. Attack with Van, perfect guard, draw check a stand and hit again, so I just drew four cards and the guy basically scooped. I had more hand than a, a great nature player, which felt really nice. But I thought that he had great nature is famous for. Suck it, Atlas. Um, on the grade twos, running four copies of Tenacious Maid Noel. Honestly, she barely came up all day. Like she's a she's a good card objectively, but she really only came into play with a Primavera turns. But like I never really used her back row attack thing at all. But she was still nice. She was still a good card just to have in general. Um, another just general MVP since. Bloom became a thing was Thuria. I'm not going to tell you what it does. Thuria is just a great card and it always comes in handy. Dave, okay, what does Thuria do? I don't know. I don't know how to read it. Um, uh, next rate two is Rowney, the card that goes with um, Maruka. It's Bloom. All copies of Rowney get red text 1k for every Bloom unit, so that stacks. So there was a point when I, all of my Rownies got 3k for every. Um, Bloom unit, so they were at like plus 18 on hit draw soul charge, it was great. And while on the field or in the deck, she becomes um, Maruyuka, so you can use her um, Maruyuka as a clone target and get Rowney out. So that's really fun. Uh, grade ones, we're going four copies of Flower Keeper Dragon, which actually came in really handy. Like, I, it, it helped a lot more than I thought it would. It's when you PG. Check top five. If there's a card in the top five that's on your field, you can add it to your hand. I search Stride Fodder with it because you can search Vanguard. Do you have to have a Renunculus Vanguard for it? It's when you guard a Renunculus um, unit because it's um when it's placed on Guardian, you can uh, nullify the hit, and if the unit that you're protecting is a Renunculus, you can do it. So even if you're on um, Maruka and if you have an Asha on the side and you PG the Asha, you can use it. It's a very specific scenario, but it it 
exists. Um, next, um, it isn't the Try 3 deck anymore, so I went back to four copies of Katrina, who always pushes in for the kill. Bloom, Katrina gets 4k. So, it could deal hella damage. It was really nice. Uh, I got plus 50k columns multiple times, thanks to her. That's how I beat Blaster. It's how I beat Big Belly and Brave. Uh, next... We're going four copies of Valkyrie of Reclamation Padmini. It's the Stride Fodder. It searches for Searing Asha. Two of them are signed. And the last grade one is one copy of Maiden of Sweet Berry. She didn't come up at all. Like, I thought I was going to use her, honestly, more than I ended up doing. So I might just cut her after this. What she does is act GB1, target another card, search your deck for a copy of that card and call it, and you shuffle Sweet Berry back into the deck. So it's basically a free bloom, and she basically acts as anything, which is really nice. So she can be helpful, she, I just never used her, so. Uh, onto the triggers. Four copies of Cosmos Pixie Liz Bath. I'm not gonna get into what she does, you should know why she's great, and she really came in handy. Um, we had a new Fighters Collection drop, so I am running four copies of Cherry and Blossom, one of the cutest heals ever, right after Cheer Girl Adelaide. Um. What's the heal do? <laughs> funny story about that. I forgot these heals had skills, so when I did go into the G-Guard with the skill, I didn't use it. I'm very bad at this game. It's, um, when you, um, G-Guard into Princess... Flower Princess of Cherry Coast Arena. Uh, you can choose a normal unit from drop put into the deck. I was probably not going to use it anyways because it's it's, argue, it's almost unarguably the worst of the heals with skills, just putting something into the deck. Because Neonectar does that a lot, enough already, mm -hmm. and you can't put triggers back. So, but you know, it's nice if I want it. Uh, next is four copies of Mylist, throw an unkillous crit. And next is four copies of Maiden of Zephyranthes. It's a Margol crit. It's a trigger with a skill. And because I'm good at this game, all of my triggers have skills, finally. And it's not just Angel Feather that can do that. Uh, onto the G zone. Uh, obviously, four copies of Dream Spinning Asha. SP. Is that SP? Oh my god. <laughs> Please, you, now, well, now you have to upload Atlas's video first. Um. Asha, it's a great card. It's all it's always the first stride. It's phenomenal. Uh, two copies of Renunculus in Glorious Bloom Asha. You should still know what she does. I only used her ability once though, because I won that turn, but like two is still nice. But yeah, she's a great card. Uh, two copies of Verano never came up once. It's a Clone stuff, you can put triggers back in a deck with her, which is nice, but she just doesn't finish games, so I never went into her. And Selfina's worse, because Selfina takes a counter blast. Um, and Verno also never came up. I have a 10 minute video on this card, so I'm not going to go into it, even though I've only used her once. Um, Primavera, arguably the MVP of the day. Um, she is a great card. I love Primavera, she's so good. So good. So good. So good. Uh, G Guardians, we have two copies of Sacred Tree Dragon, Rain Breath Dragon. Again, one of the best G Guards ever. It came in Hella Clutch. Um, one copy of Marlena, which is if you're guarding, if you when you when you guard with her, if you have two Renunculuses or four copies of the same unit on deck, she gets 15k shield. She didn't really come up either, but she's nice to have. Um, a copy of Dismal, because protecting units is fun, really came in handy. And one copy of the Fighters Collection G-Guard Coast Sharina. Uh, GB1, it's basically Rain Breath, but with a Counter Blast and a G-Guard flip, but it can get 15 shield instead of just, um, 5. So, but you need to have two copies of the card you call, you can't just call something and get power, you need to have two copies of that card, but it's easy to do that. So, but she's pretty nice. And one copy of Seabreeze, which actually did come in handy in one of my games, so I'm glad I actually kept it. Um, I'm not running the GB8, because the GB8 is basically Primavera, but costless, and gives it a power herself. 
and while it's nice, you never really go get to GB8. But honestly, after that, like the course of the day, I think I'm gonna take out Verano and put in the GB8 and another G guard, just because I realize now how little I use Verano altogether. So like, I'll probably go into GB8 before I ever use Verano again. So I think I'm just gonna get a GB8. Um, yeah, that was the deck. Um, in tournament, I went 5-2, which I'm kind of proud of with using Neo Nectar because it's not that great. I got 50, I got 53rd place out of 670 something, 640 something people, give or take. So I'm kind of proud with what I did with the deck. Um, I did pretty well. Uh, I did 5-2 in tournament, but the, the, cl the uh, clan leader thing was happening on the side and it was happening in between rounds. Because of awful organization. Because of also awful organization, but I managed to be a clan leader while the actual tournament was still happening because I went on a 12-win <clears throat> streak. So I'm actually pretty happy about uh, how I did with it. I did a lot better than I thought. So, um, yeah, this is the deck was pretty great. Um, if you want to look at this deck, I wouldn't... This is my another clan leader deck, so getting notes on it would be good. But honestly, based on how it went, I'd probably drop Sweet Berry for another Maruka. I'd drop both Veranos for another G Guard and um, a GBA just in case. But yeah, uh, this deck worked out really well, and I'm really happy about it. Uh, thank you for watching our videos. Be on the lookout for buddy fight content, which I'm very happy about. Um, I'm not going to do a body fight deck profile with what I entered because it's the Neo's Y deck that we uploaded a while ago, but I got 13th out of 177, so I'm really proud of that. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, see you around.